A few weeks ago, I posted a video showing what I thought were the fastest lifts ever. Evidently, a lot of you thought I was wrong. And if there's one thing that I am not, it is a person who doesn't listen to the people who watch the videos. <laughs> So my editor Alex has gone through all of the comments, he's put all of the lifts that you all recommended into a compilation and uh, I'm going to watch it now for the first time. So I hope that you prove me wrong. Oh gosh. Why is it always this guy? You know, when I first got into weightlifting, I had never heard of this person and now he's like the biggest personality. Seeker Strength said that I was on crack, that's nice. Yeah, I know that Luis Mascara is like one of the fastest lifters. To be honest, in some ways, I actually, the lack of Luis Mascara in the previous video was bait for comments and algorithm spikes. Doesn't seem fair to exclude Gabriel and Clarence from this list. About three quarters of this list doesn't compete anymore. Well, it's the fastest lifters of all time, not the fastest lifters who are still on the platform lifting. Okay, so this is Synchronous 217 Jerk, which uh, there were like three lifts within a kilo of this. Obviously it was Synchrane, Rastami and Tian. Oof. And Synchrane's was the easiest looking. Let's be real about it. He didn't win. He didn't, well, we know what happened. But it was the easiest looking. Oleg Perepachenov. Okay, so those who don't know, Oleg Perepachenov hit a 210 world record uh, a long time ago, like early 2000s, in the 77 kilo category, and it took a long time to get beaten. Lou tried it. Uh, there was a great video where three lifters try it in 2011 at the World Championships. Lou is one of them, uh, and none of them get it. And then finally, it was Nihat Rahimov who got it. Let's just rewatch that one more time. Great quality. Yeah, I, I can only assume that that's fast. The quality is so bad it might just be lacking in frames. He also became a powerlifter later. And um, he bench pressed like 300 kilos or something. He bulk bulked up like 100 kilos, which is crazy. Artem Okulov 190 hang snatch. Okay, here we go. This is the hang double. This is the 80. Okay, no, that was the 90. I don't know what's wrong with me today. I can't add things up. Okay, great. Georgie Gardev. The first product I ever sold at Weight of House was the YB Normal t-shirt, and that's because Georgie Gardev wore it in unbe unbelievable Bulgarians. He's also uh, the 85 kilo Bulgarian snatch record holder. What a lift. That's beautiful. Here we go. Here's big boy Asanidzi. Obviously Lash's coach, the man who dethroned Dimas. God, he just gets that behind his head so well, doesn't he? You know what? Amazing athlete, better coach. I was waiting for an Andranic Karapetian clip. I thought I was going to see it once you mentioned an Armenian guy, but alas, it was not. Still, those Gassiev close grips snatches are a thing of beauty. Only the person I've seen do this consistently in training is Simon Martirosian. Yeah, Simon's got a great video. Maybe it'll be playing now. I don't know. It depends on how it's also. Uh, of Simon going for a 150 or 60 close grip snatch. He misses it drops it down, catches it in like a, well, in a front squat position, stands up, push presses it. I think it's 160, it's pretty cool. Yeah, Karapatin is incredibly fast. But that left elbow ain't loyal. For those who don't know, he snapped his elbow. Um, I, I, I worry, I worry for him. And there's a video of him doing 185 off block snatch, which, you know, is ridiculous. He's also got one of the biggest snatches ever. He is fast, he is fast. Uh, one of the biggest snatches ever at 77. He hit 175 in competition, beaten only by one other weightlifter in that 77 kilo category throughout the, oh God, that elbow, throughout the existence of that category. And obviously that was Lou who hit 76 in Poland and then 77 in uh, Rio. Kirill Pavlov, yeah, fair enough. If you have never been, uh, if you've never had your eyes open to this lifter before, um, I know that what just happened to you was extreme, um, worrying, confusing. You've probably never seen technique quite like this before. 
Okay, here we go. So we've got the arm bend, nice hitch, and then he re-straightens. And then he advances with one foot. It's majestic. I mean, obviously it's horrible, but he's so good at it. <laughs> it kind of doesn't matter, but please don't lift like that. Mikey Farmer, Wilpa, yeah. Really good lifter. Uh, I need to get him on the podcast, actually. I have been to Willpower before, um, spoken with head coach Justin a bunch of times. There's Jordan behind him. These two are going to be really exciting. This is Jordan doing some pulls, hang snatches. Nice. Jordan's got a huge squat and jerk. He jerked 200 kilos when he was uh, 16 or 17. Incredible atmosphere in that gym. Milka de Cola, yeah. Milko is fast and, and just a great character on stage. He was kind of like the European John North in some ways. You know, he wasn't the best, but he was the draw of the crowd. All right, is he going to pass out after this lift? What do we think? He held that over his head a bit too long. For those who don't know, he used to pass out a lot. No, okay, stay up. She's young. Which she's young? There were two, to be fair. And the one prior to this one was maybe faster. But this, she's young. Pretty fast. 97. This is the world record at the time. Love to see it. What a chad. <laughs> yeah, I was there. I was like four meters away from him at that point. Kirush. Love Kirush. Oh, Kirush when he was in 85. Those were the days, weren't they? This is 2017 Anaheim when he lost to uh, an absurdly thick Ali Mendez back in the day. Kirush just has like a level of confidence that is like both um, absurd uh, and also so impressive. Okay, we've got Jabba. Originally Bulgarian, then born. Uh, sorry, originally Bulgarian, then uh, bought by Qatar. In fact, he's actually in the greatest weightlifters of all time book. Let's find him quickly. Alright, this is my favourite page on the thing because you it's got like everyone by Sinclair on a nice chart, which is cool. Okay, so here's Jabba, number 18. He's the Sinclair before Kaki Kakishvili. So his best ever Sinclair was at the 2000 Olympics. Body weight 123.64 kilos. Snatch 205. Clean and jerk 255. 255 weighing 123. I mean, that is so incredible. Over two times body weight at that weight class. You don't get many athletes doing that. Yeah, here I draw a parallel to between Jabba and Chigashev. They were both sensational snatches. And great cleaning jerkers. He was bought for a million dollars. I forgot about this. It's been a while since I've been through Jabba's profile. Oh yeah, this is great. He took silver to Chamerkin, but he weighed 118 kilos at that time. 63 kilos less than Andre Chamerkin. That's crazy. I'll put a link to this down below. Some of you might be interested in the history. Cuban Daniel Nunez. Yeah, very fast. This is um, 1988. Or was it 87? Oh, wait, it says right there. Does it say 82? All right, I was way off. I'm so used to this competition. I've seen it so many times in my research. Uh, and 88 is obviously a big year in weightlifting. That's a quick lift. If he pulled slower, he would... So Yang Zhe has the slowest pull, but he is quick at the top going under. And he's also so over when he pulls. Yeah, that's phenomenal. I mean, this sequence, the three board records back to back, the 67, sorry, 97 by Yangzhe, 98 by Romnam, 99 by Matarossian. Filthy, just amazing. And again, I was right there. See, I don't know if, like, he's really fast under in the snatch, but his pull is so slow. It's almost amazing that he is able to make these lifts. And he's also got a very unfaithful jerk. Good lift. That's a nice very lift. Nice. Hello, Mutlu, fair enough. Three-time Olympic champion, Turkey's pride and joy. Look at those lats. Very fast. I mean, smaller lifters are faster in general, which is why it's so impressive when you see an athletic Lasher-esque, Chigashev-esque 
Pizarenko-esque lifter in the super heavy category. That's quick. I can't get over the size of his lats. Oh my word. Do you want to know something interesting about Halil Mulu? Because he's obviously amazing, but he's not where people think. People assume that he's going to be like a top 10 lifter ever. Halil, where are you? Here we go. Halil Mulu. Look at, look at this medal section at the bottom of the page. 12 European championships and he won 10 of them. 7 world championships and he won 5 of them. 3 Olympic games and he won 3. So in terms of medals, he is like top 5 ever. But in terms of Sinclair, he's 56. Okay, I'm Young Cha, yeah. Yeah, I mean, he's got that kick of death. Unbelievable. Can you believe I missed this triple bodyweight clean joke? I was in the uh, training hall just near this when it happened, filming... I don't know who it was. How does he hold on to that? It doesn't happen often enough. It's unbelievable. Zakarevich 210, okay. One of the greatest snatches ever. This is the heaviest snatch by a non-super heavyweight ever. Yeah, that's some speed and some bottom position, isn't it? Yuri Zakarevich, number four, 489.23 Sinclair. Because he also beat um, the world record in the clean jerk at 250.5, which obviously beat Botev. Okay, here's uh, Vyacheslav Yarkin. Again, hitch of, well, I was going to say hitch of the gods, hitch of the devil. But he's got, not only has he got the, the Pavlov arm thing, he's also got the, the D-Mass head back. This is not the type of technique that you would necessarily copy, but he makes it work so well. Because he's so quick and, you know, he's strong in all the right places. And Ronnie Weller. Uh, incredible clean and jerk from Germany. So strong. I mean, 260 like that? 260 like that? I mean, let's be honest. Not even Lasher makes 260 move like this. The speed of the floor. He's like a Mart Saim who learned how to pull. Unreal. And a great lockout. Yeah. Such a great lifter. I got a few photos of him. He's in the book as well, where he just jumps up high and he punches the air. And you cannot believe that some of his size um, gets that Jordan esque air time. Shoes. Oh, can you imagine having those shoes? He might have just taken someone out of that. He's got an arm on him. Pyrrhus Dimas in that Iron Mind vid. <laughs> yeah, this is when he hit the powers. This uh, video gave birth to the old, how do you like that? The, the, the Iron Mind guy whose name I'm blanking does. He also power cleans 180, is it? And then he comes out into the zombie and just walks into the front rack and then, oh, into the squat rack and starts front squatting. Need that t-shirt. He's very fast under here. I remember watching this before I really knew a huge amount about weightlifting and just being like, just confused. Like confused that this was happening, confused at these numbers, confused at the movement, but so intrigued. Oh yeah, and this is back when he's a split jerker. A lot of people haven't seen him split jerk. So I think this is where he zombie walks it into the squat rack. Oh, he re-racks it, doesn't he? He jerks it, re-racks it and walks it in. How do you like that? Okay, a few people asking for... Valentin Restov. Wait. D they don't mean this Restov, do they? Hold up. What do we watch here? <laughs> Okay, so they meant Valentin Christov, the guy, the 62, that was born in 1994. Not 107 kilo, 56 years old Valentin Christov, who was born in 1956. <laughs> oh dear. What is happening? It's pretty quick. It's pretty quick. Did you do that in person? All right, Ron Kristoff. So once again, Valentin Kristoff doesn't get his, uh, he doesn't get what he deserves. I'll put a link to this book down below because a few people are discovering it for the first time. It really is the best resource in the world for, for the history of weightlifting. And I hope you enjoyed this video. I will catch you all on another video. Catch you next time.